If you're heading to Universal Studios Florida, you're going to want to check this video out. What's up guys, welcome to Destination D-Row. This is going to be a full tour and review of Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort. So Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort is a great valued moderate resort in Universal Studios property in Orlando, Florida. So the theme here is like a mid-century modern kind of beach vibe and it is actually um, a great value. And I say that because it's got a lot of cool features. It's got two huge, awesome pools, a lazy river, a water slide. It's got two uh, poolside bars and grills. It's got fire pits, lots of activities for the kids. It's got a really cool lobby, a Starbucks inside. So it's got a lot of cool things to offer. And it actually ranges in price from about low 200s after taxes to about 300 after taxes. So it's a pretty good value. In addition, the Cabana Bay Beach Resort is walking distance to the Universal theme parks and to City Walk. You also have bus service at the Cabana Bay. As you enter the Cabana Bay, over here is where you're going to drop your stuff off and check in. This is the lobby. Over here is the Bayliner Diner, and also you can access Starbucks. Over here to the left is where you're going to find your shuttles to the theme parks in City Walk. So the left side of the resort, you got the sign, bus stops, they're actually over here. And uh, the buses, uh, this is like in the middle of the day in the summer, so they're not that crazy. You got these old cars. So three of these cars take up spots, but they're like really cool parts of the decorations. 1958 Chrysler Imperial, pretty cool car. See, theming is pretty good so far. Definitely feel like you're in the 1950s or 60s. Ford Thunderbird and the old Ford Wagon. I guess four spots, cool. And then these are uh, temporary spots for checking. So there's actually six buildings of rooms um, and they all have different views. Some are pools, some are theme parks, some are the parking lot. So we're just gonna curve around to the main lobby. Also, they do have self-parking here for $18 a night. So $18 self-parking. So as you enter to your right is where you're gonna check in, registration, bell services. You also have a car rental area here. So everything you need in terms of the hotel service here, nice areas to chill. The Swizzle Lounge is a bar and they sometimes have live music. Last time we were here, um, they definitely had live music. It was really cool. The Universal Gift Shop, which I'll check out in a little bit. And you have your Universal Tickets area right here. So you can get your Universal Tickets and talk to them about all the uh, stuff and options here. So as you enter one thing I really like is the open air concept. It's very airy and light lots of natural light So the back of the lobby is the first pool we're going to check out and that is the cabana courtyard so the cabana courtyard has actually a splash pad it has a water slide a really cool pool and it's kind of uh, surrounded by the buildings so it's got that cool kind of stadium effect um, it also has the atomic fire grill so that's a little bar and grill poolside so you can get some snacks and some drinks in addition each of the pools has nightly movies so you can go check out movies by the pool each night and obviously they're subject to the weather but you can check out when you get there if there's any movies worth seeing so 
So as you first enter, you got some beach sand area. You got ping pong tables. I think they also have volleyball normally. The atomic grill I talked about is over here right to the left. And then you got your pool area. So pool hours, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Right outside the grill, they also have fire pits. So I think they do like marshmallows and s'mores at night during the movie and stuff like that. So if it's during the cold months, definitely check out the fire pits. So obviously you have towels, you have kids life vests. Usually the Orlando uh, hotels all have those, Disney as well. Lots of lifeguards, just like Disney. And the pool is rather shallow, so it's it's definitely family friendly. Um, I think it's like three foot, nine inches, four foot, the whole way across. So the deepest is four foot, six inches. There's your water slide. All right, I'm gonna check out the Atomic Grills menu. There's the menu. Got some beach sand areas to hang out. Over here you got your little spa hot tub. You can rent cabanas at Cabana Bay. So they also circle around over there. So in the back right you got your restrooms and then there's like a little artificial grass area over here couple uh, shaded pavilions right near to the artificial grass area they probably set up events and things here and there's another pavilion and you can see what I'm talking about with the stadium kind of thing got the uh, rooms that kind of go all the way around the pool the pools in the center so this is the splash pad area You got your easy entry pool part right here. So the buildings at the Cabana Courtyard, you have Castaway, Thunderbird, and Starlight. Those are the three buildings in this area. So now we're gonna check out the Universal Gift Shop. So down this stretch, you got the gift shop here, and then you got your Starbucks right there. So it's a pretty nice little gift shop here at Cabana Bay. You got all your, you know, Simpsons, Harry Potter, Jurassic Park kind of gear, Minions, stuff like that. And then you got like Quicksilver stuff. If you got your sandals or something like that, you got some toiletries, um, sunscreen, stuff like that. But it is pricey if you forgot your sunscreen, stuff like that. So pretty cool little gift shop. So next to the gift shop is the Starbucks coffee. This one is actually open 6 a.m. and I think it closes at 8 p.m. or 10 p.m., one of them. We're gonna go up the stairs to the bowling alley area. Another really cool feature of this resort is it has a bowling alley. The bowling alley also has a bar and grill, so you can get some drinks and some food while you bowl. Let's go check out Galaxy Bowl. So Galaxy Bowl is from 1 p.m. to 10.30. Here are the menu items. Also, Galaxy Bowl requires reservations, so you wanna book ahead of time, especially if you think it's gonna rain this is your rainy day section. Workout area, Galaxy Bowl, and the arcade. That's what you do when it's raining here. So 
So as you come up the stairs right above Starbucks, you got Galaxy Bowl here. To the left, you got restrooms and you have the fitness center, Jack LaLanne Fitness Center. And you also have a ramp down to the Cabana Courtyard Pool that we just were at. So the lobby's right over here too. So you get some aerial views of the lobby and the fitness center. So check this out. So the hours, 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. It's pretty big. So it's pretty cool. You get the old theming, TV and stuff like that. Nice little uh, workout center overlooking the pool area. So here's the ramp going down to where we just were. It's the pool. The little uh, courtyard of the hotel spots. So as we go to the left coming up the stairs of Galaxy Bowl, we got the little arcade. Game Rama. So again, nice little area to chill. And this down here is the Bay Laner. And this area down here is the Bay Liner Diner. And I'll show you that. There's also a Fun in the Sun Rec Center for kids. I don't think that's currently going on. This is your main seating area for the Bay Liner Diner. So it's cafeteria style. You go get your food, you pay for it, and then you sit here. This takes you to the other area, the other pool area with the Lazy River and views of Volcano Bay. We'll check that out in a little bit. So right next to the Starbucks and the stairs we just went up is the Bayliner Diner, which is your cafeteria main eatery here at Cabana Bay. It's open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. So typical cafeteria, grab and go stuff. You get your universal mugs, refillable mugs, similar to like Disney, different snacks. This is where you check out. And there's a couple different options here. So their menus are different at each of these stations. They also have different breakfast items and then it changes over to lunch and dinner. Pizza. Belly. And a salad bar as well. It's not quite open yet. Yeah, so your basic grab and go stuff. And then you get your food, you pay for it, and you go out here and you sit. So I love this vibe. I love the uh, mid century modern vibe. You got the uh, really cool old commercials to uh, stick with the theming. In the back left of the uh, diner area is like a little chill area. It's got a little TV and uh, like old school pay phones. I obviously don't think they work anymore. And an ATM and there's bathrooms here as well. Okay, now we're gonna check out the other pool area, the Lazy River Courtyard. So as you enter, little areas to sit. There's a fire pit area, similar to the other one. I think there's another fire pit area over here. So Continental Buildings, Beachside Buildings, and Americana Building is over here. So that's this area. Yeah, you actually uh, can walk to Volcano Bay as well. That's another plus to staying at Cabana Bay. It's right there, the, one of the entrances. So it has a lazy river over here, which is really cool. Another cool pool and the hideaway bar and grill right there. So another really cool area to hang out. So they got a little couple, they got different 
menu items, more sausages and stuff like that, fries, burgers. You got the spa with Volcano Bay in the background, and these are the new wings, beachside. And the main entrance is back that way. You got bathrooms back here as well, and then the Lazy River is right over here. So this is the Lazy River. This is open until 10.30. So you have to buy tubes here. So it ranges from like uh, seven bucks to like 20 bucks, depending on the tube you get. Or you can just go in regular without the tubes. But you do have to buy your tubes. I'm not sure if you can bring your own, but it's about three feet all the way around Lazy River. So let's go check it out. Lazy River is definitely pretty cool. Nice little touch here at the Cabana Bay. Definitely check this out. All right, so all in all, some pros to this resort. The price, the value, awesome pools, uh, great for hanging out, awesome pool days. You got you know multiple things you can do. You can hang out, you can drink, you can go to the bowling alley. So that's pretty cool for the price. I love the theming here. Some cons. It, the rooms, the rooms are well themed, but very tight. They're smaller rooms. So I have a full room tour in the description. I didn't put it in this video, but I do have a standard room tour in the description. So you can check that out if you're curious about it. But the rooms are a little smaller. Uh, overall, it's a very good hotel for the price. Definitely cheaper than the moderates at Disney. Uh, I definitely recommend thinking about this one if price is a thing for you at Universal. This or the Sapphire Falls. Those are the, the best value ones, I think, for Universal. So thank you guys so much for watching this tour. If I left something out, throw it in the comments. I appreciate you guys for watching this. If you are coming here, enjoy. Give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.